Hey there everybody, Phil here for AndroidCentral.com and today let's take a quick look at the Dolphin Browser HD. It's an old school Android browser but it just got a really cool update. So they have a little demo video up there that you can watch if you want to, I don't want to. And now they're going to walk you through some of the new stuff. You have tab browsing which works very nicely, thumbnails that you can go through, URLs, uh, RSS subscriptions, it's really really nice. So let's flip through these initial screens here. So you flick to get thumbnails, that's cool. Gesture URL commanders, okay. Add-ons, very sweet. Bookmark sorting, cool. YouTube downloader, now that's interesting. You can download videos directly from YouTube onto your phone, okay. And thank you. Let's see, I don't want to make it my default browser just yet. No thank you. But I think I'm going to. Uh, so let's just see what we load up here when you first launch the thing and that looks like a very busy but actually pretty easy to read page for Dolphin there. We'll zoom in so we see it. We see gesture commands and that will walk you through that some more. Cool. Now, okay, so you slide up. Gotcha. Pinch to zoom works excellent on this by the way. <laughs> Recommended add-on. Bookmarks to SD can help you organize. Uh, no thanks. Oh, now see, look, how many times do I have to tell you I don't want you to be the default browser yet? Calm down there, Dolphin. RSS, that's very cool. So a whole bunch of stuff. It's built specifically for Android 2.0, for Eclair. So that's helpful. Let's go to Android Central and see what we get. We'll start with the mobile page. Should load up pretty quickly and pretty easily. Sure enough, there you go. Again, this is our mobile page for those of you wondering why we don't have one. It doesn't automatically redirect to it. It should. We're working on that. Anyway, there's our mobile page. Let's check out the full page and see how that loads up and how it renders. This will usually take a second. I am on Wi-Fi. Or, no, I'm not on Wi-Fi right now. So it'll probably take a second longer. Talk amongst yourselves. Dance the music while we wait. There we go. And load up quite nicely. Fits to the exact width of the browser. That's cool. Scrolls pretty well. Pinch to zoom. And that's a busy page, so that's, that's working pretty hard and working okay. Now there are the tabs, right? And you can slide over to the right, not the left. There you go. And if we open up a new window, you would see it there. Let's see what else. Alright, let's go try the old acid test so we can actually see how precisely the Dolphin Browser HD renders. We're looking for 100 out of 100 on this test. We've done it before, you've all seen it. And it looks like we're gonna get 93, so not perfect, but pretty good. Right up there with uh, the other mobile browsers we've tried on Android. Now, let's see, you can clear the cache and clear the uh, history before you exit, that's handy. There's the little swipe to get to the tabs again. Let's see what else we have. Okay. Let's take a look at settings, because I love settings. Add bookmark, find on page, select text, share page, save page. Mobile view downloads and more settings. So let's see more settings. Add on management's gesture settings. Wow, we have just a ton of settings. Ooh, full screen. I like that. I like being able to uh, get rid of the top bar there whenever I can. System settings. Wow. This has as many settings as I've seen in mobile browser, and it's very, very cool. I like that a lot. So I'm going to have to give this a shot as my full time browser, I think. It's free, so that helps as well. We'll have to do a roundup of uh, all our favorite mobile browsers at some point, I believe. So there it is, the Dolphin Browser HD for Android. And we'll see you all later.